Hi. So today we are going to talk about procrastination. Writers are really good procrastinators. I don't know. I think everybody procrastinates, but for some reason it does seem like writers procrastinate more than most people. I certainly do. I've struggled with procrastination for many years. Um, but so over the years I've, I've developed a few tools to help me get past being in that sort of stuck mode where you can't get yourself started uh, and they're really effective so I wanted to tell you about them. Um, the first thing that I do I call it my magic 10 for 10 and because it really it does feel really magical it works like almost every time. Um, so what I do is I set a timer on my phone for 10 minutes. So I chose 10 minutes because 10 minutes is like a very unscary amount of time, right? You can pretty much do anything for 10 minutes, even if it feels uncomfortable. So I set my timer for 10 minutes and I just write. A lot of the times if, when I'm first starting out, what I'm writing is not very good. It's probably not anything I can use for my story, but that's okay because I'm warming up. When my timer goes off, I set it for another 10 minutes and then I procrastinate for 10 minutes. So I can do anything I want in those 10 minutes. I can, you know, Google ridiculous dog videos. I can call a friend. I can read a chapter of a book for 10 minutes. And then when the timer goes off, I have to go back to writing again. So I'll do this for maybe an hour or so going back and forth. And what's really interesting is that after I've gone through a few cycles, what I find is I'm starting to get so into my story that when the timer goes off and it's ready for me to procrastinate again, I don't want to procrastinate. I just want to keep going with my story because I'm really starting to get the, the momentum and I'm really kind of feeling my characters and my setting and, and the whole fictional world, it's starting to really come alive and I don't want to stop writing. So that's a great zone to be in. Um, but I will force myself to procrastinate back and forth, back and forth, even when I don't want to, until I really feel like, okay, I've got this, I'm in this story, I don't need to do my 10 for 10, and then I'm pretty much good to go. So this is something you can try for me it is kind of magical. Um, whenever I'm just sort of feeling stuck, uh, it snaps me out of the procrastination mode and it gets me right back into the story where I want to be. Another thing you can try, and it's something that I feel really strongly about, is you can um, get a writing partner. Now, when I say a writing partner, I don't mean that you're collaborating on a story, although you can do that. But when I get a writing partner, I'm working on my own story. My partner's working on their story. And what we do is we formulate a contract and it could be even like a written contract or it could just be something that you talk about with each other um, where you say, okay, uh, until we finish our stories, we are going to exchange maybe one page of writing a day or maybe you want to do 300 words a day or maybe you don't want it to be for every day so you say Monday, Wednesday, Friday will exchange one page of writing. So you can and you can email the writing uh, back and forth to each other as well. And this is really great because number one, it holds you accountable, right? If you know there's someone who you've promised to give a page of your writing every day, you're more likely to uh, put aside that procrastination and get down to work because you've made this promise. Um, the other thing that's really nice about this is you have a reader. So one of the, the difficult things about writing for young writers or unpublished writers is when you're writing, you often you don't have a deadline and you don't have a publisher waiting for your, your book. So you're kind of sometimes feel like you're writing into a black hole. There's no readers, right? It's really wonderful to have a reader, someone who's going to be reading your work as it goes along. And that's very encouraging. The other thing that I also suggest is that while you're writing your stories, you don't critique each other's stories. There's room for that after you're finished. But a work in progress is really 
sort of fragile. It's a very sort of tender thing. And a wrong word or a harsh critique can really derail you so that you put aside your story and you don't want to do that. So you're basically each other's cheerleaders. You're like, cheering each other on, telling each other maybe what character is really interesting to you or what storyline you can't get enough of. And that is really going to keep you guys going until you finish your story. So this is something um, I just I've done this for many, many years and I've had many different writing partners. Um, I just think it's a really wonderful way to write. It makes writing a lot more fun too. So these are just a couple of tools that I use when I'm really feeling stuck and, and procrastinating and not getting anywhere. So try these out, see if they work for you. And most of all, have fun. If you want more tips for young writers, check out my books, Spilling Ink, a young writer's handbook, co-authored by the amazing Ann Mazur, and Writers 911, how to tackle writer's block and unleash your creativity. <laughs>